Wolf Frommer, director of Carnegie's Plant Biology Department, has worked with an international team of leading plant biologists from Australia, Japan, Mexico, Taiwan, the U.S., and the U.K. on research that collectively could have a profound impact on global agriculture. Of the present global population of 7 billion people, almost 1 billion are undernourished and lack sufficient protein, fats, and carbohydrates in their diets. An additional billion people are malnourished because their diets lack required micronutrients such as iron, zinc, and vitamin A. These dietary deficiencies have an enormous negative impact on global health, resulting in increased susceptibility to infection and diseases, as well as increasing the risk of significant mental impairment. The global population is expected to grow an additional 2 billion people to an estimated 9 billion by 2050. This expected additional 2 billion humans will require nutritious food that will impose growing pressures on agricultural production. Simply increasing inorganic fertilizer use and water supply, or applying organic farming systems to agriculture, will be unable to satisfy the joint requirements of increased yield and environmental sustainability, but rather will increase ecological damage. Increasing food production on limited land resources for sustainable production has to rely on innovative agronomic practices coupled to the genetic improvement of crops. Fromer and his colleagues state that many of the recent discoveries in laboratories around the world have previously been below the radar, known only to a small group of other plant biologists. By widely disseminating their findings, the team hopes to educate policymakers and speed the eventual application of their discoveries to global agriculture. All of their work focuses on the mechanisms that plants use for transporting small molecules across their membranes and thus for controlling water loss, resisting toxic metals and pests, increasing salt tolerance, and storing sugar. Potential results include increasing yields of wheat plants by engineering them to be more tolerant of salt, growing crops on otherwise ideal agricultural land that is currently too acidic, developing crops that convert aluminum ions into non-toxic form, and making crops drought resistant through discoveries about plant transport proteins that regulate water loss through pores on the surface of leaves. The scientists also discovered plant transporters that allow crops to increase the uptake of nitrogen fertilizers which are costly to produce. Nitrogen fertilizer production consumes 1% of global energy usage and poses the highest input cost for many crops. Yet only between 30 and 50% of applied nitrogen fertilizer is used by plants. The remainder can lead to production of nitrous oxide, a greenhouse gas, or disruption of aquatic ecosystems. A recent discovery in the Frommer lab, the identification of transporters that move sugar throughout the plant, has been used to develop rice plants that meet two of the major goals in agriculture by increasing the carbohydrate content and pest resistance of crops. The team's views are presented in a perspective piece published by the journal Nature. With the independence for nimble pursuit, Carnegie scientists tackle some of the most profound challenges in modern science, fundamentally changing what's possible for us, our planet, and our universe.